and they're off. We're back with race 11. Ribbon Man was in traffic. Bayside Hall parlayed a perfect trip. Art Dialing switches to McDermott, and he's claimed by Perfect World and Carl Conte Jr. as a sand dollar got parked. Across the track, entering the clubhouse turn. Ribbon Man has come away well. He's fourth on the inside. Motor City Smitty drops in behind him from fifth. Banker Jack is gapped slightly. He's two lengths further back in sixth. Followed up in seventh as they move around the turn by Art Dialing. Eighth on the outside as they head to the quarter is SS Sandauer. First quarter in 27 and 2. And Ribbon Man is put to the test with an eighth of a mile to come. Motor City Smitty surging up to a short lead. Light pace from Stevie Zan who shook loose and he's charging hard on the outside. It's Motor City Smitty, Stevie Zan, SS Sandauer on the outside. Motor City Smitty holds on to win it. Stevie Zan was second. SS Sandauer third in 150 and three fifth. When a trainer moves a horse up off several losses, it's either a sign of confidence or overconfidence. In this case, we thought the latter and we thought wrong. The son of Dexter Nukes does pack a late punch and somehow overcomes the first over trip tonight, ends an 0 for 8 here and gets a new mark for Luca DiRico and MJG Racing.